This is why I'm, I'm still in my age, still in there squatting. I don't care if it's a damn bar, I'm going to squat the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to hold on to the size of the leg. So, so the more reps, for sure a lot that less, uh, less weight. And, and, and locking out. This is so important, guys. Stop locking out. I'm on Facebook, social media. I'm watching all you guys on Instagram. They lock out between every rep. Whatever happened to continuous tension on the muscle? If you apply that, you're going to grow 10 times faster. If you squat 145 pounds and you squat parallel to the floor, if you come up too high, you, you squat, you're going to come about that much. It's a very short range of movement. So that tension on your quads is intense. You yeah, do it, it's intense. You do it 15 <laughs> times and you do 10 sets of that. Your leg's going to explode when you walk out of the gym. They think when I walk out and squeeze my glutes, you're resting. You're resting. You'll be, and you're engaging your knees. Every time you lock out, the initial move is your knees. You're engaging your joints. So when you don't lock out, you're saving your joints. Right. What about leg press? Do you, do you, are you a believer in that? Leg all? press is really good. I stopped leg pressing because my guy advised me to because my back was a mess at the end. So I haven't, but when you leg press, same thing. Don't lock out. And you don't need a thousand pounds to build the legs. You just don't. It's all show. You put 500 pounds in there, and what I would do, I would do leg extensions, do some sumo squats, and then go leg press. Mm. So you do maybe four or five sets, maybe four plates on each side, max, 10, 12 reps, 10, 12 reps, but don't lock out. And do it slow. I see the guys, the weight's falling, and they do all this weight come. Where's the mind connection? So everything you do has to be slow and controlled. I had some clients come to me and they walk away and it goes, because your training is too slow, they said. And, I, and, and, and it's boring, it's not exciting. I go, okay, and they leave. <laughs> they don't understand it. But to develop muscle, it, it is slow. The longer the muscle's under tension, the fast is gonna respond. It's gonna grow. Is it going to hurt more? Yes. When you slow down the exercise to do 12 reps and do them really slow and controlled, it's going to hurt more. That's what you want. That's why you're at the gym. Those last three reps on that preacher bench, I got my clients, I'm spotting him, but I give him just enough. I give him just enough to keep it moving. So this will be like an eternity to get this thing up here. That's when it grows. So what about band zing? Because that gives, have you, do, do you, um, Frank's, when I went into his gym, he hooks bands up on some of his machines even, even and I've, I've been doing some stuff recently with bands, and okay. it's quite nice in terms of the tension that you get when you okay. combine that with like a barbell and a dumbbell. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been experimenting that with that, but have you found good results by combining bands with, with free weights at all? Or? I've never used a band. You've never? Okay. No. But I could see the combination of the two. Don't just rely on the bands. Do your real free weights first and then finish with the bands. I get it. Mm. That works. I mean, in a pandemic or any other situation of traveling and that's all you have is bands, perfect. Mm. But if you have the opportunity to have real weights, free weights, the combination definitely works. Yeah, but personally, I've never used a band. Give me the barbell. You know, you know what I mean? I just, no. No, <laughs> and and weights versus machines. Then are you are you you still a more of a free weight fan? A hundred percent. Why is yeah. that? Because back in my day, we didn't have a lot of machines. We had cables and free weights, and you improvise. You create stuff, real stuff. None of this cosmetic stuff to doing now. No, no, uh, free weights for sure, because it forces you to concentrate harder. It forces the muscles to work harder. The stabilizing muscle has to work. Your core has to work more. It's a lot, it's harder, it's, 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 it's work to do. On a machine, you put the pin in. If you fail, you just drop it. You know, you pull back machines. It doesn't give you the same muscularity or the detail in the muscles as free weights. You can tell a guy who, who trained with free weights for a long time because you can see the striation, the cross striation, the muscle separation, and the deepness of the muscles and the hardness of the muscle, it shows. That guy did some real, like Beckles for one. Mm. You know, it, it's, it's intense. You can see, just carved out of stone. 
That means he did a lot of free weights. Okay. Machines, weight training, the guys get big, they look kind of soft. The muscles look like watery. And they don't have those real striations. We used to have striations on top of striations. You know what I mean? The pecs cut, it's cut, more cuts on top of the cuts. That's what, that's what uh, back in my day, that's what they wanted. So, free weights, absolutely. And it just makes you work harder, that's all. Yeah. And you get faster results. Remember that.